Hello, what's up everybody? This is Armand Adibi. Um, today I'm going to make a kind of a funny video, which I haven't seen this video out here. That's why I'm making it. Um, it's, you know, why are bodybuilders so f and ugly? No, just why are bodybuilders so ugly? Um, female, you know, men, it's obvious with the females, okay? Um, let's not be stupid here. Uh, you know, from bikini to every most every class, 95% of competitors take hormones. So I'm not really here to talk about the women because, um, you know, that I, that's, that's, you know, they, you, you can tell like who, who, who took hormones and too much hormones and all that. It's obvious. You don't, you, you don't get, um, a manly face by lifting weights. So girls out there for, if you're lifting weights, are you afraid you're going to get a manly face from lifting weights or get all these big muscles? It's really hard to gain muscle and your face isn't going to change unless you get a bad coach. And I've seen a lot of them wreck girls' faces and it's sad. So that's why I don't prep a lot of gr mm -hmm. girls anymore, like on, on like up, upward, like, you know, bikini's fine. Figure it may be okay, but you know, top figure in that, I mean, you have to do stuff that can have side effects. So I'm going to get to um, the first reason why people age so much. So each time you diet down, you strip fat away. So like you see the you see competitors all the time. They're like walking around like that, like they're dead. You are like you, you feel terrible. You, I mean, bodybuilding is one of the, I mean, I played high level soccer in, in Sweden, Denmark, Germany, and, you know, that was, that was hard, but, you know, bodybuilding is like, you have to eat every, every meal. Like I hated eating. That's like, I eat like twice a day now. Um, and so, uh, each time you diet down, you strip away collagen and fat from your face, fat from your body, but it comes from your face too. So each time you do that, you lose like the, the healthy, like collagen tissue, so it's like from under the eyes, the, the cheeks. So that's why you see all the, you know, competitors, you know, looking like that at competition time. But usually about a couple of days of eating, the face fills back out. So that's not what I'm really talking about when they're on stage because you got, price, you got spray tan on your face. You look ugly. Like not many people look good unless, um, you know, they, they do makeup now for people, for men. For men's physique, when men's physique came in, the so those guys get their makeup done. I'm not gonna get my makeup done for sure. That's that's um, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> but whatever. Go get your makeup before your show. <laughs> um, never mind. I got me off subject. Anyway, so. The, you know, it strips the collagen away. So each time you do that, each time you diet down, the longer you bodybuild, you're stripping away like permanent, like healthy tissue in your face. And now there's the, you know, the plastic surgeons that do fillers and Botox and all that, that can make you look better. But I, it still doesn't look like, you know, the, the way you did look. So, and then the other, the main thing, um, like when I would shoot, like when I had a contract with uh, muscle mag, I would shoot, um, you know, with them that and reps and Iron Man and all, the, you know, all the magazines and they would have pretty much the same 30 guys. They would shoot all the time because, you know, so many, they didn't, sh they wanted like uh, mar marketable bodybuilders. So, um, like Ronnie Coleman, he's marketable just cause he's a freak, but you know, he's not, people's not like, Oh, you know, like that's a good looking man or something like that. He just looks like a freak. And so the magazines, they wanted someone marketable, you know, someone, you know, that had a good face, had a good bone structure, had a pretty physique and all that. That's why I got um, a lot of, I mean, I had a lot of work in the magazines when I was doing that. Then I did fitness modeling. I would drop weight after my bodybuilding competitions um, and do fitness modeling. And so I'd kind of go back and forth and then, you know, I chose just bodybuilding and eventually I, you know, I retired. Um, and now I just prep people. I work with only a few clients. Now I used to work with tons and tons and go to the shows and be backstage. And I still do that with my few clients, but 
you know, bodybuilding is so expensive. Um, and we, when we were coming up, you know, as me and my two training partners were all best friends, uh, Chris Shalali, he, pa- he, he passed, unfortunately, he's very sad. One of my best friends and, um, Stephen Frazier. And so they, we would all train together and we would get ready for shows. And there wasn't like all these YouTube douchebags. So you go on YouTube now and you have some kid telling you, yeah, dude, I took this and this and this and this and this. And I'm like, like these, these kids have no clue what they're doing to their body in the long run. So, um, you know, I would have clients come to me and they would be telling me what they take or they want to take. And I would tell them that, that no, like that's too much. And they would leave. And then, um, you know, like, uh, sorry, I'm getting off track, but men's physique started. So that was for like a, the guy that couldn't get like big, like a bodybuilder. So like a like regular gym goer guy and that could like get in shape and get like a nice gym body, you know, toned up and abs. And so those guys, it, it started out, they were, I had one of the guys, uh, he was like one of the first winners of men's physique, that class. And nobody knew kind of where it was going. It, it was a little you know, um, fruity, you know, going up there with board shorts, putting your hands on your hips and turning around. And now with the stuff they do with their hands like that, just stop. They, they got to stop that. That's too much. I can't watch that. I judged for five years and I I just had to look away. A lot of the times I would look down. I, I, I can't watch all that. It's, uh, you know what I'm talking about if you're in the sport. So, um, back to the subject. So you got your fats and you know, the dieting gets all that. So then you got your hormones. These guys are taking excessive hormones. Now, like I said, when we were coming up, we would get like a bottle here for a show a bottle there. We maybe use four or five bottles of different stuff for a show. Um, and now these guys are using 100, 200, 300 bottles of hormones, different ones, you know? Um, and then, you know, on top of that, it's a growth hormone. So growth hormone, growth hormone is good. You know, it's good for you. Uh, you know, it's good for your health and small doses. So is testosterone. You want those levels to keep high as you age. So you don't break down. Your body doesn't break down bones and stuff like that. Uh, with these guys that are on the stage now, they're becoming they're younger that are getting up there on the pro stage. Do they look better? No, not at all. Why? Because they pack muscle on like, um, for instance, like uh, I just saw a picture of him. He looked good. Um, uh, uh, Lee Labrada's son. I can't think of his name. Um, so big guy, but I saw him, you know, like a couple years ago and then now, and then the size increase and the kid looks like he's 50 years old, like literally 50 years old. And he's like in his mid twenties. So these guys, I mean, well, I mean the guys like that know you know, they're, they're pushing the hormones like crazy. And then the growth hormone, what that does, like people taking growth hormone out there. Um, when I competed, I took two to four. I used pretty much, pretty much my whole career at the end when I was, uh, you know, bigger, like a super heavyweight, I would go up to maybe five or six, maybe five. Um, because like over six, you're getting side effects. Like my, my friends, they, their feet would grow, their hands would grow, their elbows would grow, their their face starts growing. So what happens is, like, you see, like, the brow right, right, right here, right here. Hold on. So the brow would, like, it's straight, like it's flat, my brow. Some people genetically have a protruding brow, but this brow, this bone right here starts protruding and growing from growth hormone. And then the jaw starts growing out here and then your chin, like, you know, like Jay Cutler, he has a massive chin. That's from all the growth hormone, you know, it keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And I mean, as you age, like from 18 to like me, I'm 37, almost 37. Um, your face grows. I mean, your, your, your jaws grow, your ears and your nose, it never stops growing. Like your, your, your nose and ears never stops growing. So I'm, I'm half Persian. So I got the Persian nose. So it, uh, maybe we double the size when I'm 60. I'm just kidding. But, um, uh, they're just taking massive amounts of growth hormone and you know, what's that doing to the heart also it enlarges the heart and so big that, you know, it pumps slow, slow. So eventually they're going to have heart failure, you know, um, 
And a lot of them are, are passing out dead now. But these young guys, they need to, you know, their physiques don't look like the guys 10, 20 years ago. Just even when I was competing, um, my last show was 2014. Um, or I think, yeah, and then I did like a little one, like a little transformation for my supplement company a few years ago. And I dieted for like three weeks and took my hormone replacement and that was it. And won the little show. Um, and I just wanted to show people what you can do in three weeks. Like if you really work hard and diet and stuff, you know, cause people are doing 16 weeks dieting and, and they get up on stage and they look terrible. And these coaches, they, you know, I was one of the original coaches, like in the area I started like 16 years ago. So a lot of people try to copy like methods you do the other top coaches above me, like, um, you know, like Dave Plumbo, George Farah, Chris Acido, um, those guys, Chad Nichols. And then now they're getting out of it a little bit because, you know, um, Hani, Rambad. And so you got these YouTubers and Instagram people that took over, which has messed up it a lot. So a lot of the, you know, I don't know, I guess I'm old school now guy, but, um, the competitions are a lot different. It's like a participation and people get up there. They don't look good. And people are like, Oh yeah, you look great. They go on their Instagram. They, they, they edit their pictures with Photoshop, their abs all ripped. And so, and then on stage, they didn't look like that. So a lot of these guys aren't getting on stage now also because they don't look like their pictures. They edit the shit out of them. I mean, I see these people in person a lot and they look nothing like their picture. They're tiny. They see what they do. They'll they'll Photoshop it. They'll uh, make their all their body parts bigger. They'll make their waist smaller. They'll, you can do whatever with Photoshop. I don't know how. To, I don't even know how to use hardly any of these apps. I don't even like making videos really. <laughs> Just I've never. Uh, I, I do like making videos. I like people teaching people stuff. I'm not going to be a YouTuber and make a freaking video every single day talking about dumb shit. Like, oh, who's arguing here? Who's, who's, who's arguing? It's like a soap opera now. It's it's turned into a, a circus um, and not a fun one. So um, let's make bodybuilding great again. Like, I think who has that shirt? Like, like Steve Kuklo? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, but these kids, hey, if you're coming up, hire someone like me, like... You want to start slow. It's a it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint, because um, it's you take it on this hormone. And it's just it's just like any chemical compound. Your body gets used to it, then it doesn't respond. So they might go hard, and they're um, uh, you know like the bodybuilder that just um, committed suicide. You know he was in his mid twenties. What it you know all the hormones do mess with your head in excess at that level what they're taking i mean there's no doubt about it um you know that's rare that people do that the bodybuilders like a, but maybe you know something happened with him but you guys have any questions comments leave below i mean i've never i have never seen a video explaining this and i get asked a lot by you know especially i used to get asked a lot by other women like like you look good you know you're bigger than all these guys you know you compete against but you you look good to your face looks good and you know um and i'm like well they take massive amounts of stuff the guys would have boil, boils all down their face and jaw and neck and back and ugh, that's that means you're toxic or whatever you're taking is you know whoever's making it it's too much bacteria or whatever it's gross like today's you know who know, who knows where what what you're even taking out there and every everybody's on stuff at the gym i see these kids are all on stuff anyways this video is getting too long wrap it up see you guys later comment below check out my site armandadb.com i have my own supplement line the best supplements of course i want to say that cuz they're mine uh hands down try them out you'll you'll get hooked um take care bye